check it out. We have a baby axolotl. It worked. It worked. Ta-da! Look at that. All I had to do was add the glue. And that is a winner winner. Chicken dinner. Look at that. So, yeah, um, that was all default uh, settings and everything. So, um, now all I've got to do is get it off there. But check out that. That's, oh, sorry. Uh, manual focus. Oops. What's it doing on manual focus? Here is a axolotl. And that printed really well. It's an articulated one. So all of these joints are articulated in there. So once I lift this off, it, um, it should move about and be all connected. So let's give the, let's give the crack a go. And no, nah, well, well, I don't know how much to bend this. I'm bending that. Well, maybe I just need to be more brutal. So, oh, yeah, it's cracking, but geez, that requires a lot of, a lot of bending to, oh, I don't like that, but apparently that's what you got to do, so they tell me, oh, geez, not liking it. This is a, oh, there you go. The head's coming off. No, no, I think it's gonna feel as though it's gonna break down the bottom. No, no, there we go. How do you get all these off? I don't know, it's stuck too well. Now I've lost count of the number of people who told me that the glue is actually designed to get it off, that it's actually opposite. That is not my experience now. With two prints, I have found that when you put the glue on, it sticks like buggery like this. And that was the problem with my last axolotl that failed. If you haven't seen it, here's my last failed one. And there he is there. And oh, he failed. Um, and the part that was actually stuck to the glue, because I had some existing glue, and I, that was really hard to get off, where all the other stuff came off real easy. The ones without the glue came off real easy, and that's what caused it to come a gutter, is because it, uh, it didn't adhere to the bed. Well, it adhered to the bed, but it got halfway through the print, and then it come a gutter. And so, for all you people crapping on about how the glue is designed to make it come off easier, Sorry, <laughs> you're wrong. Not in this case. Um, and this is um, Creality's uh, PLA filament and their hyper filament or whatever. So, no, I can assure you, it does not come off easily. So, look, we've got all the articulated joints there. I'm gonna, I didn't bring the spatula down. I might go have to get the spatula. Got to be more medieval, I think. Maybe just bend it near where the where it needs to come off, perhaps. This is quite a large print because this is a 300 by 300 uh, build plate. So this is, you know, 200 and something by 200 and something. So it's quite large. Uh, these ones in here are really stuck well. Don't want to break my plate, but then again, I want my axolotl. This is ridiculous. Oh, these two here are really stuck down. Unbelievable. Am I supposed to peel off the stringy, outer stringy bits like that? Is that, is that how it's done? Yeah, leave it in the comments. Everyone's screaming at me. Everyone's got an opinion on 3D printing. Everyone. And they're all contradictory. People told me I didn't need glue. And then people said, I do need glue. And then people said that the glue works opposite to what you think and actually is designed to release it. And it's like, <laughs> it's all turned out to be bullshit. Everyone's opinion is bullshit. See, I don't want to break it because they're interconnected. So that's the whole point of this build is that they're, I don't know, some people are probably screaming at me, I don't know, use acetone or something to get rid of this. I can't. 
<laughs> Look at all that. I mean, that, that's just turned out fantastic, right? Fully articulating. Look at that. It really is, really is fantastic. So, I mean, you know, this is not the best looking filament. It's just plain white. And um, this is not, this is on normal mode. This is not on detailed mode, detailed print mode. So, I assume that that would take a lot longer and it would give you greater resolution and it would all appear much nicer. There we go. There you go. Got to get the knife. There you go. The spatula's upstairs. <laughs> I should actually have the spatula to do this. Yeah, you really have to get something under it. And again, people are going, oh, you damaged your plate doing that. Yeah, probably. But I want my print, damn it. And these two are really stuck. Unbelievable. Does not want to budge. Oh, there we go. Got it. It will come off. It does work. I just need to trim it. And she'll be right. Uh, there it is. There's my little axolotl. Look at that. Fantastic. Looks a bit stringy. But you cut those off. And that is a winning print. And it's all, you see how the joints are all articulated in there? And it, you know, none of those were stuck, like those joints aren't really stuck together. That one might be stuck to there a little bit. But just with some uh, trimming, of course, um, I, can, I can fix that. No problems whatsoever. So it's just the base. The uh, Creality K1 Max came through. I just had to add the glue down to here, but it was bastard to get off. Anyway, give me 10 million conflicting tips and comments down below. Looks like I'm able to just peel all this stuff off without doing any damage at all. Touch plastic. <laughs> Is that the, I don't know, what is the saying in the 3D printer community? It's not touch wood, obviously. Uh, so, oh, that one's, that is just a little, that one's not as, that foot there is really nicely articulated. That one's just a little bit stuck. So I might have to, might have to massage him a little bit. But, geez, it's pretty clean. I didn't really have to do much clean up on that. You can see how that's all perfectly articulated. I can just, like, pick that up and, you know, play with it and, yeah. It's, it's just fantastic. It's very nice. I like it. And that, that's basically just straight out of the box. Really, I didn't fiddle with the settings or anything. All I had to do was add glue to the thing, as it says here. Please apply glue before print. Um, and it prints. Perfect. Happy with that. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. As always, uh, yeah, give me all your conflicting comments and opinions down below. Catch you next time.